Police on the run as defaulters pay heavy price from UGM in Enugu. Hear the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome once again to Biafra Unite channel slash television this very moment. Today's date is 16th of May 2022 and of course I have another video to show you just as what we have been doing throughout the day. You see, it is not a news that every Monday is sit at home in Biafra land. As I'm talking to you today, today, are you aware that Asaba is sitting at home today? Are you aware that sit at home is being observed in maximum in Asaba today? That all shops, shopping malls, businesses, markets, schools, everywhere was shut down today in Asaba as a whole. And once that happened in Asaba, which happens to be the capital city of Delta State, that means everywhere in Delta State today was under lock and key. So in Enugu State, Enugu Nkani, somebody or some people decide to sabotage what we are doing. It is unbelievable, it is unacceptable, and nobody will tolerate that. Because of police cannot save it. Look, all these politicians, they are telling you, don't worry, come, come outside, open your shop, go to your normal businesses. Osu, they cannot help you. Those same politicians are the ones sending DSS to come and kill you. The same politicians who are telling you, don't worry, come out like tomorrow now. They will still tell you, ah, don't worry, come outside. They will still send DSS to come and kill you again in order to tarnish the image of the agitators. I'm telling you, what you don't know is bigger than you. We have seen all these things. That is why we have been shouting and letting our people know what is going on. And the game, the foolish and stupid politicians are using our lives to play in order to please their slave masters in Abuja the Fulabis. But it's quite unfortunate that a lot of people are not aware. So without much ado, I want to show you the video for you to see what really happened in Enugu State today. Especially, it happened in a place called, okay, all over Enugu State, especially the Enugu City today, is no go area. I'm telling you, but watch this video and then we will do more analysis on it. Group one, machine machine so the video you are watching right now is actually exactly what happened this afternoon are you getting it it happened especially this video now happened in a place called uh, uh, uh og river to be precise og river to be precise which is in enugu state but we also have confirmations of some incidents that took place in Abapa today. Also, uh, uh, independent layout today. A lot of people were running Helter Skater today in Enugu State because of the incident between the unknown government, the zoo police, and of course, the defaulters. So this video now, this picture you are seeing now, is uh, a motorcycle that was set ablaze and some other ones were taken away by some unknown people. Are you getting it? Because when they cite the unknown government, they don't, they in, left their motorcycle and ran away. So unknown people, you know, yeah, they, they are going to go to Kalina, Kalina Street. People are hungry. 
People are hungry is quite unfortunate that our people cannot comprehend it. You leave your motorcycle, you run away because you have seen unknown government. And then ordinary people will just come there and take away your motorcycle. Who are you going to blame? <laughs> Who will you blame? Now, this person that have lost his uh, motorcycle right now, who will you blame? Are you going to blame the unknown government? If you blame the unknown government, then you are a coward. How much are you going to make today that you cannot pay a simple sacrifice of sitting at home? To let the entire world understand that, look, that man they are holding there is our future. That man they are holding there is our life. That man they are holding there is our survivor. They must release him. But lo and behold, our people who even need the freedom more are busy going up and down claiming that they are hungry, that if they fail to work today, Monday, they are going to die because of starvation. It is quite unfortunate. How is the might, mighty fallen? How comes our people have become so, you know, lose? Watch it. Who will you blame, Kajeta? Kajeta, I'm asking you. Who will you blame? Who are you going to blame? You will blame the unknown government or will you blame the Nigerian police or are you going to blame the uh, you know the, the army or the normal people? If <laughs> when are we going to open our eyes? The freedom that we are looking for is for everybody. Mazinam Dekano today suffering in the DSS custody. Because of who? Because of you and I. If not for the love that he has for you and I, why should he be there? Mazinam Dekano has a better life in UK. He is married, he has his family, he has his kids. They are all living in the United Kingdom. Apart from that, he is the first son, the crown prince of Afarukwibe. After the demise of his father and his mother, he is the one who is supposed to be sitting on that throne right now, giving instructions on how things will be done in Afaruku. But what do we have? Because of the love that he has for his people, he has decided that his people must be free from the zoo. And God gave him this message. God gave him the, vi the vision and show him what is going to be the fate of Biafran people, or should I say the Southerners as a whole, including the Oduduwas. What is going to be our fate in the nearest future? Because the Fulanese have concluded plan to take over the entire country and bring in their brethren, their brothers and sisters from Sahel, from Senegal, from Mali, from Somalia, from almost everywhere in Africa, to give them a nation, to give them a country, for them to come and occupy the damnable zoological Republic of Animal Kingdom. And they will rename it to Republic of, Federal Republic of Fulani. You people are not aware of what is happening or even what is coming. When God gave him the vision, Mazinam Dekanu rose up and started fighting for our freedom. And from there, he set up the ESN. What is stopping our people to support Mazinam Dekanu for our freedom? Because if you fail to support Mazinam Dekanu, then you are doing yourself and your entire generation disservice. You are doing yourself a disservice. You are actually setting yourself up for 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 eternal slavery to the Fulani caliphate when are we going to open our eyes and remember tomorrow is another day tomorrow is sit at home and next tomorrow which is going to be 18th 
of this very month of May is another sit at home that our leader, Mazenam Dekano, will be appearing in court. Thank you, my people. Share this very news and make it go viral.